Pinot Black, folks. Basically, going to show you some big ass stars that are basically showing through pretty damn good from the sun. And you, you got to realize how huge this star here is, or planetoid, or whatever that there is. Now, it pretty much looks to be a star, but what's huge is we're going to take you up. I'm at 9.99, okay, and then we'll we'll zoom in a little bit on that there since it's in front of the, you know, it's pretty much on top of the sun. And then I've showed you a bunch of stuff before. So we'll get a good look at this because basically I'm going to be able to show you some huge stuff. And there you go. It's a star. So there's some stars that are huge that are in front of the sun. you got to remember one IU is a hell of a long ways away. I can't really point, but you can see there's just one star there. Okay. Now you, but I'm going to show you some huge stars because basically I'm going to zoom this thing in as much as I can. Hopefully get the magnetic fire out of the way and there, there's a star right and that's in front of the sun on top of it pretty much and it's huge okay it's a long ways away okay now I don't want to get well, we're gonna stay on this shot I'm gonna get over here and look at these stars real fast okay you can see the stars already okay you can see this one here too this might be three of them but I got some I got huge ones up here to the left actually to the right okay so is that one star there? It pretty much looks like one star. Could be a couple behind it and shadowing it. Okay. Now we're going to move up. And we'll move over a little bit. We should be able to probably get these stars there that are in this cluster there. There. Okay. Now, if these are the ones that are doing the, you know, blingity bling, it's hard to tell. that are. But these would be the closest stars to Venus and Saturn right now. Okay. Now... What I've got is what I'm going to do is I'm going to minus down now to, and you can see how clear these shots get. Okay, you can see stars like you wouldn't believe. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to scoot up. Okay, on the screen, we're just going right to the cover, and you're going to be on the edge. We're going to go up, and we're going to look at these huge ones up here because basically this bugger here is huge. Because you got to realize how quad million billion miles this thing probably away from the sun. But as I glue in, and we'll look at some around here. Now, this one's got a possibility of looking like maybe it's way more than one star. But, as I move over, you won't be able to use a pointer, so whatever. If you're just going to see that more than likely, that's either four stars in a very tight pattern, or it's one huge-ass star. Okay, and then I've got, I've got some more up over here, too, that I'm probably going to have to minus out. Remember, I'm, my, I'm going in like 1,600 to get these. And then there's that one there, but you can pretty much tell it's single. And these are other single stars. I mean, there's lots of stars, but you can see that the that the idea that that bugger there was big. Okay, that one there is like a tight group possibly, but this one there, that, that there's two stars there. You can see on that one to the left. There's two stars on this one to the left. Okay, that's two stars. I was trying to get back to seeing what I was seeing a little earlier that we had like one huge ass star. And maybe I scoot over here and maybe this is it. But anyway, two stars there. It's just you can really get in and see these stars pretty damn good. Maybe this is what I was seeing, and then that's more than likely what the sun is. You can see the sun flaring right there. It's got its radar going on, and I'm telling you what, it's magnetical really seeing, I mean, it can feel it, 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 for some reason, there's some kind of reaction on the sun, and it's, I'm not crazy on this, but anyway, it's a, it's not really even a theory, I mean, everybody's seeing it, it's actual factual, we're learning with, like, Pioneer, which basically, or Voyager, and I see there's three stars, so, that's three stars, and I can get up a little bit more, you can pretty much tell that that's three stars, so, Anyway, the sun is reacting to a lot of stuff, uh, but it's got some good radar electrical, because it's basically electrical. It, it's got its bands out there and things like that. So we were looking at all this stuff here. This cluster, that cluster group is the cluster stars. That's basically some stars, electrical, magnetical going on there. Uh, I'm going to get up a 999 on that. Or up 999 on that, and then I'll just get hurry up and go to the footage that I want to show you 
that a guy put together and basically see how when you when you see they get electrical energy that goes flopping out and then you get stars that get that are in alignment from way the hell out or some kind of in a pattern and then you get that propagation okay as you see there's basically two stars side by side pretty much there it looks like there might be two in the back let me get some wild star alignments out there as you can see, I don't even have to point because I really can't use the pointers when I'm on the super zoom like this. And as you can see, there's two stars, two stars, and then whether it's singles behind it, and it might even be twos in a row. And as you see, we go back and see it's a star belt. Okay, those are star belts because basically the, it's just the stars in a line and the electrical energy hits and bam, they just line up just right. And you get all those stars. Try to get a little bit more on that shot and then we'll zoom out real fast Let's see if I can get it focused in here again real quick where am I at on the doggone screen to be able to get that back in because we're at a damn good shot where are we at can we find it going up the side taking up too much time way out on the edge on the white but you've seen all those stars in a row they're pretty darn good now can I get back to them it's gonna have to go down real fast Get it out of the way, and there they are, and then we'll pump back up. And then we'll see if we can get a good look at them. As you can see, two, two, and i got to try to keep the magnetifier out of the way. I'm going to just go all the way up that star line. You see how those stars are all lighted up and lit up? It's electrical. But there are hella, they could be hella distances between those stars, but they're all it's star belt out there. Might be part of the umbilical cord, way the hell out there in our galaxy as we see it from a long ways away but anyway pretty wild stuff because you'll see right now as I get rid of that how close we're in and then I'll basically pop out to 400 and then I'll give you like 150 and you'll see that we were at all this stuff and you can go in and look at it on we want to thank the Navy a lot for this shot it's awesome great look at the Milky Way galaxy and the sun's in it Okay, now what I want to hurry up to get in here. This is going to become the rage here pretty soon. Okay, now you see that brightness down at the right. That's part of the do of what you've seen in the video that's loading up tonight. I'll get this loaded in tomorrow. I ain't got time. There's the comet coming by and behind H12, right? But the one thing to be important is is look at all these magneticals that we have because basically we're looking at behind. One of these has got to be Venus, okay? But no matter what, as we're zoomed in. And I can zoom in some more because we can go to 900. You're going to see magnetical lines, which is crazy because what the hell is up behind? So it's magnetical. They are magnetically tied together to the sun. Do you see what I'm saying? And then we have some interesting something or other right there too, but we'll see that when we pump up a little bit more because we're going to be at 900 and we're going to go across the screen on this. Now remember, behind shooting all the way across from the front side of the sun pretty much, as far to the right that it can get, okay? And there you got your comet. And what's pissing me off is they took some pixel, they pixelized some crap out. Maybe they had to do it to get the best shot of the comet or something like that, but it sure looks like, I don't know, there's pixels there. You can see it, okay? Getting kind of blocked out, so whatever. But anyhow, maybe they're blocking out all the action that we've just seen in the recent video that I've uploaded. It doesn't really matter. But look at all of the magneticals. It's basically proving because you can see a magnetical to that there okay way the hell off so no matter what then everything's magnetic no matter what and we know it and this is proof that everything's electrical magnetical out there okay everything's clung to a star now looks pretty positive but that stuff's stunk, clung and it's all the way behind Venus or if this is Mercury and closer to the Sun which it could be at can it, even though it's gonna look like this because it should be Venus and it probably really should. That should be Venus to the left, and that should be Mercury to the right. And we go over, and the sun's over here on the right. I mean, on the left. On the left, okay? Sun's on the left. You know that. Okay? We're at stereo ahead, okay? Basically, just pop down real fast, okay? Boom. There we are. We're at the shot, okay? And I, I just basically took it from looking at the guy's video here, because I haven't had time to look at all the information, because basically, there's going to be some awesome stuff I can look at here. There's the sun to the left, okay? So there you go. Awesome shot. Okay? And this is huge down here. You see what I'm saying? So maybe this could be Jupiter way the hell off to the backside. It doesn't really matter. Then this could 
contend to being planets and stuff like that, but this stuff's all magnetically tied in behind with shooting away because they have to zoom in hell for this. So this is Venus, and that's Mercury, and then this could be Jupiter or Saturn because Saturn should be in a line with uh, with Venus, and that should be Venus. Okay, so let's up and look at some other stuff. Okay, who we want to sh thank is Sunflare here. Okay, that's the guy's name, and he's on internet, and he's doing a great job. I'd like to communicate with him. Okay, because he's on the same sense as I am on, but basically, I can prove him they're just getting spoofed on on Mars. They're trying to piss him off. They might have scared him. He's been a little, apologizing a little bit lately, and I know who, but anyway, we tell the truth. They are, the rover is really up at the, up at Mars, I'll tell you that. I'll be able to prove that to him, okay? But he is right on some artwork that they've been pulling off, which can be explained, and he kind of explains it. So now, see this huge, this is some fresh action. Basically, I'm kind of wasting him going to his deal and going to getting the picks and stuff with that. But see, he's showing you that you'll see the numbers here, and it proves that this stuff's there, and it came by. It's another uh, Silver Surfer Speedy. Okay, now this is going to be awesome here because what you're going to see is something punches and then that might be the huge thing that's punching in and coming by up by the sun that we're seeing the energy wave that we're getting, okay? So that very well we might have something huge that's coming up by the sun. Very, very possible. Okay, you see that energy up to the right? I'm not even pointing. So we got some very, very interesting stuff going on by the sun and I almost have to upload this now. So... Anyway, this is stuff that he caught on the 8th, looking at the pictures and stuff, you see. So, you got to look at the pictures, you got to look at the movies, because the movies, they try to hide stuff on us, okay? So, I've got to start looking at, uh, but I don't have that much time to go looking at Beacon and all the time. i got to work, you know? So, anyhow, thanks to him. And I've been showing you this, it's actually, and this is just, it's just, astounding what's what we got going on okay and basically I play the movie by hitting the step button and this stuff's all going on up there so there's energy coming in something's coming in that's huge up by the sun to the left and it started coming in by on the 8th as you see and the footage I just gave you in lower right is what we're talking about right there so I have to get over here and get back to clicking and playing it but we're talking about this right here something huge came up by the sun and it's got that energy wave that's an energy wave but there is something huge that's been streaking in through past the sun we're hella safe because earth is way the hell over here in front of the sun ladies and gentlemen this is h1a so it's up to the way right far right sun almost behind it and we're getting all this from mercury and this is Venus and saturn and everything like that doing stuff out there and plus other planets way the hell out in space but no matter what this hugeness of that stuff happening up in there as you count all that stuff up there to the left i'm not going to count for you you count it all that stuff happened, and they only gave us 13 hours here of, of film. And I had it in the last video, too, but this is just awesome. So all this stuff is happening up there. So we've got energy field coming to the right lower there of the object that you just seen in the video a few minutes ago. And then we're safe as hell because all this stuff is way the hell the other side of the sun. But there is dramatic, crazy stuff. So basically, we're going to see stuff in the sky, like the Indians said, around this time in the calendar. There's something. something you're going to be able to see this stuff from Earth. So, and I've got some comets that I've seen turn around on Canadian French Telescope. So, I'm going to have to upload this tonight, too, just to get you guys to get the whole picture of what's going on out there. Okay? So, this is all hooked together. And I'll run out of tape time here in a minute. I just hurry up and flop this stuff up as fast as I can get it. But I get it to you accurately or exactly what everything is. And we're perfectly safe here on Earth, okay? I want to make everybody realize that, that this stuff is way off to the right hand side of earth when you're looking east towards the sun because the idea that this is millions of miles away and it's way over by mercury venus and saturn okay and the, and and venus and saturn are pretty much in an alignment here pretty soon or pretty much right now okay so but this is all dramatic stuff more than likely the gaseous rings around saturn everything like that probably from hella far out okay they're getting electrically exposed to you and so you can see them those are probably more than likely the rings of saturn way the hell out and a bunch of stuff, Venus flaring and CMA in off of this electrical agitation of that comet up there, okay? That the comet pretty much comes into the left from the right, as you see right there, okay? That's a comet that comes streaking in, okay? And really don't think it hits anything, folks. We'll see this comet turn back around the sun, probably. I should have run out of tape by now, I thought, figured. Almost done. 
here we go. So we'll just get a little, little bit more. Like I say, they only gave us the, what the heck was it? Six hours. It's eight hours, nine, 10, 11, 13 hours. I thought 13 and a half hours, 13 hours and 29 minutes of footage. So later, folks.